reflect on the major changes in your life. It could be a career change, the birth of a child, the death of a loved one, marriage, divorce. Did the changes involve an element of loss? All changes, both positive and negative, begin with a loss. They first begin with letting go of the old. William Bridges wrote about this intuitively logical notion in his book, Managing Transitions. As Bridges described it, transition is the emotional process a person goes through to get from something old to something new. Before you arrive at the new location, you must leave home and travel through what Bridges calls the neutral zone, which is neither home nor the intended destination. Those leading the charge, not surprisingly, are notoriously focused on the new. They are victims of the erroneous thinking that change begins with the new. While it's tempting to think that way, this mistake is a leading cause of change failures. In reality, or at least emotional reality, which tends to take precedence over objective reality, change begins with an ending. Before we can move into the new, we must leave the old. Leaders who fail to recognize this lead change at their peril. Consider moving houses. This involves little more than having moving a van or your friends in a truck transfer your possessions from the old to the new. However the change, as anyone who has made it known, involves more than the physical move. You begin with letting go of the old, mourning the loss of the familiar, thinking about the memories, even if they aren't fond ones. Once you actually move, things don't quickly fall into place. You wake up groggy in the middle of the night in search of a glass of water and walk into a wall because the old house didn't have a wall in that location. You miss the old familiar place. You have to find a new route to work. You realize how challenging this is when one evening on your way home, you unconsciously find yourself driving to the old house. You have to find a new grocery store and the new one doesn't arrange its shelves like the old one did. So shopping takes more time. You miss the old familiar place. If you made your move with a family, not only are you dealing with your process of change, you're also leading others on the journey. They miss friends and neighbors at the old location, their old school, favorite hairdresser, dry cleaner, banker, physician, you miss the old familiar place. Some people find the process of leaving the end behind so challenging that they will go to great lengths to hang on to the old. Consider people who drive a couple of hours to keep their relationship with their former hairdresser, banker, or doctor. Even a positive change like the birth of a child requires giving up the way things were. Countless new mothers and fathers experience tremendous guilt because societal norms demand that they be euphoric at this new wonderful change. While they love the new life entrusted to their care, they also suffer in silence, wondering if there is something wrong with them as they grieve the simplicity of the life they left behind. Why didn't anyone tell me how hard it was going to be? Am I the only one feeling like this? Even in the case of a planned positive change, you miss the old familiar place. New processes and systems, technological advances, new teams, leaders, products, growth, downsizing, acquisitions, restructurings, like the personal changes we make, individuals in the workplace first must leave the old comfort zone behind before moving to the new. What can you as a leader go to address this reality? Stop, pause, dignify the ending. Dignifying the ending is an important tradition when someone has died. It is the purpose of funerals and the celebrations of life. Retirement parties are designed for the same reason. It is critical to dignify the ending before you can move into the new. We can learn lessons by leading change, by contemplating these important traditions. Celebrate where you came from and where you achieved before running too fast into the change. Mourn the past, even the parts you're happy to leave behind.